My name is Lynn Vale. I'm a physiotherapist working for Exobionics. Um, this is not normally where I hang out. I normally hang out in the clinical environment, so this is a bit alien to me. Um, over there we have Sandy and also Andy. It rhymes, I know. <laughs> Sandy is also a physiotherapist that will be doing the demonstration for you today. And then Andy um, is one of our ambassadors that is walking in EXO today. I'd just like to point out that Andy um, is paralyzed from T6, okay? So that's probably from about the rib cage downwards and he's unable to walk. He had his accident about 20 years ago. So founded by engineers in Berkeley, California, Berkeley Robotics and the Human Engineering Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley, combined forces to create a robot exoskeleton for humans. With a research grant from the Department of Defense, the Hulk was born, the human universal load carrier. Here, science fiction crossed the boundaries to reality. The Hulk, a wearable robot suit, enabled soldiers to carry up to 200 pounds of equipment over harsh terrain and improve their endurance in the field. Made from titanium components, it provides the strength to carry heavy loads, but is also lightweight. But what of other applications the suit can be made for? This question led engineers and clinicians to work together with the technology with a common vision in mind. With innovation and forward thinking, Exobionics created an intelligent exoskeleton that gave paralyzed individuals the opportunity to stand and walk. Since the first pilots in the bionic suit, it is now giving paralyzed individuals the opportunity to stand and walk in leading spinal cord injury centers throughout the USA and Europe. There is no question about it, sustaining a spinal cord injury is a life-changing event, as Marcus just said. A level of your independence is lost when you become paralyzed. By the time Wired Live starts tonight, one or maybe two individuals in the UK will have sustained a spinal cord injury during the day. The, st the statistics are much higher in the USA and one person has a spinal cord injury every 45 minutes. This equates to 12,000 new cases of spinal cord injury in the United States alone. Now, a paralyzed person who has been told that well, they will never walk again has a real option to stand and walk. It may not be under their own volition, but it is a step in the right direction. I want you now to imagine a wearable robot that takes wheelchair users uh, standing and walking again. Time magazine selects the 50 best inventions of the year. It Think is not science fiction anymore. Robotic legs hitting the retail market. That is a remarkable, remarkable invention, I think. It's an amazing step forward for anyone who's confined to a chair. Craig Hospital unveils a robot that will help paralyzed patients walk again. Wait until you see how this giant leap in technology helps people walk again. This is amazing. A device is giving people who are paralyzed a new hope. There is this new, crazy, amazing technology that is nothing short of miraculous. To him, it's nothing short of a miracle. Think about it. I'm. I'm paralyzed from, uh, from the ribs down, and I just took, I don't know, 100 steps. The opportunity to be one of the charter members is really very important, especially for the field, to really move it forward. U.S. rehab facilities have purchased the exosuit. L'esoscheletro della exobionics. We have our own device. We are going to integrate it into our therapy program here. 
to give them an opportunity for further mobility. It's just a great feeling. I mean, it's a feeling that it's almost hard to explain because, you know, you take the greatest feeling and multiply it by 20 million. That's what it's like. They're working with over 250 individuals right now. Most individuals, the average number of steps, the first time that they strap that suit on mm -hmm. is over 200 steps. Mm. In terms of progress and data capture, that's what makes it remarkable. Again, we've seen exoskeleton suits over the years. There are a number of different companies working on it, but actually come back to me with some data and tell me what's happening and that it's successful. That's powerful. unique tools to help improve quality of life amongst patients. The potential for EXO is so real. With EXO and Bionic technology, anything's possible. So bionic suit is worn by patients with neurological weakness and who are dependent on a wheelchair. It is a gait training device designed to improve function and independence with walking. It has electromechanical motors and intelligent algorithm located at the knees and at the hips, so it moves the patient's legs through a normal walking pattern. The suit is designed to be, um, to be used in a controlled clinical setting or a rehabilitation centre or a clinical lab or basically as a demonstration today. But it has to be under the direct supervision of a, super, of a physiotherapist or a trained professional. The suit is intended for multiple patient use. The legs are height adjustable, the hips are width adjustable, so the bionic suit conforms to the patient's anatomical dimensions. Under clinical supervision, EXO, will stand, And walk. Oh, oh, walk. <laughs> and walk. Andy normally calls the steps, but obviously he's forgotten. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got a bit. Okay, we're going to stand still, hold the stand, and put your feet together. Well done. And we're going to turn. Turn and face the audience. And turn. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a bit of specification about the device. It is made of titanium and aluminium skeleton, so it's lightweight, durable and strong. It has a backpack. It has a backpack here and it houses the batteries, two big batteries, lithium batteries and also the computer and the software. It is easy to adjust, as we said, so you've got adjustable height for the femur and for the tibia, and also adjustable at the hip and at the adduction angle. EXO is not suitable for everyone. The patient needs to be between 5 foot 2 and 6 foot 2, and they shouldn't weigh more than 220 pounds. But as you were seeing then, I was taking the steps for Andy. I was controlling Andy's steps. So in August 
It's August just gone by. EXO released the updates to give the patient better autonomy and independence with their walk-in. What they designed was a HMI, a human machine interface. Now this just plugs into the top and it gives the patient more control and it is placed onto the crutch for the patient. So two modes were ad added to the update. Active step, this is where the patient gets into the right position and then they press the step when they feel they're in the they're in the right step. And pro step. Pro step is the most advanced and it's basically EXO is able to determine where the patient is in space and takes a step forward for EXO. So what we're going to demonstrate now is pro step. So Andy's just pressed the button to start it off. And now he just needs to click one button and EXO will take a step. You'll see that Andy is just transferring his weight, shifting it to the side and also forward. Okay, we need to turn around here because EXO hasn't learned to do steps yet. <laughs> and how Andy turns is basically he pushes his weight through the crutches and lifts his weight through the crutches to turn his body. It can be a little bit tricky when you are watching him. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, Stan Sandy is still there, and what she's actually doing is helping to guide and balance Andy into the correct position. You are also here if you're in the front. We carry on walking, Sandy, and Andy. <laughs> you may hear some beeps and twerp chirps. So, when you hear the beep, it means that he's hit the right position laterally. When you hear the chirp, it hits the right position forwards. That then means that EXO can then take the right step. Okay, and stand. Okay, the ExoPulse is a data module. Um, basically, what it does is streamlines data from ex Exo and transmits statistical information. Information that it might retrieve is things like the number of steps and the speed in which the patient is walking. All these things are used basically to improve the user's outcomes and also future products. And they also can be used for outcome measures for the patients, so they can determine, actually, am I improving with EXO? Normally they do, and they do quite quickly. Um, I think Andy probably only took about 20 steps there, maybe, maybe more, we'll be able to tell you. But he's well over 2,000 a day at the moment. So just to talk about the future a little bit, EXO is making deliveries of the suit to select rehabilitation programs throughout the world. They are providing rehabilitations to hundreds of people who have sustained a spinal cord injury. They are also participating in research protocols, adding to the body of knowledge and evidence to enhance the treatment of spinal cord injury throughout the world. And finally, what they're preparing to do is evaluate and prescribe the personal exosuit, which will be launched in 2014. I'd like to thank Andy for 
doing the demonstration and Sandy and thank you Mark <laughs> Amazing demonstration. Thank you, Andy and Sandy and Lynn. It's fantastic. I've been talking to EXO for about eight months to make this happen, so it's fantastic that you managed to come here.